Good evening and welcome to this evening prayer on this Tuesday the 14th of May. Let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe your people with power from on high. Hallelujah. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O Lord, so may your mercy come down upon us, cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is psalm number... 15. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may rest upon your holy hill? Whoever leads an uncorrupt life and does the thing that is right? Who speaks the truth from the heart and bears no deceit on the tongue? Who does no evil to a friend, and pours no scorn upon a neighbour? In those who sight the wicked are not esteemed, but who honours those who bear the Lord. Whoever has sworn to a neighbour, and never goes back on that word, who does not lend money in the hope of gain, nor takes a bribe against the innocent, Whoever does these things shall never fall. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading uh, this evening is from Matthew, Matthew 7, verses 15 to 27. It continues the theme that we touched upon yesterday about false prophets and being distracted from God and thing, the things that separate us from God. Again, as we saw yesterday, these things could be a person or it could be something within our hearts. But Matthew talks about false prophets. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never know you. Go away from me, you evildoers. The Gospel Canticle for this evening, the Magnificat. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. 
The Almighty has done great things for me and his holy name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for watching over us this day. And we ask that we may continue to walk with you tomorrow. We pray for the world and all its challenges and worries. And we ask for your protection and for you to sustain us as we continue to walk with you in this life. Amen. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph in your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ has gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me this evening.